ekdot.com now we are going to do the last problem of exercise 5.2 the last question of exercise 5.2 the question here it is ram kali saved rupees ram kali saved rupees 5 in the first week 5 in the first week of a year and then increased of a year and then increased her weekly savings by increased her weekly savings by weekly savings by rupees 1.75 rupees 1.75 in the if in the nth week nth week her weekly savings become her weekly savings become rupees 20.75 Twenty point seven five find n. Here it is. The question is to find n. That means in which in which week his salary became rupees twenty point seven five. She started the savings by investing rupees five in the first week. That means first term of our rupee is five. A one is equal to five. A one is equal to five, and in each week he increased or she increased her savings by rupees one point seven five. She is increasing savings each week by rupees one point seven five. Means common difference D is one point seven five. D is equal to one point seven five, and annual savings. That means our last term A N is equal to. An is equal to twenty point seven five. Now we can write down the formula for finding the number of terms. An is equal to number of terms. An is equal to last term. An minus first term. A one by common difference plus one. This is the formula. Substituting the values. An is equal to twenty point seven five minus. First term five divided by common difference one point seven five then plus one twenty point seven five minus five is equal to fifteen point seven five divided by one point seven five plus one. Now we have to remove the decimals from both the numerator and the denominator. For that we have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by hundred because. There is two decimal places. After the decimal, there are two places. Means two digits in the numerator and the denominator. So we have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by hundred. N is equal to fifteen point seven five into hundred divided by one point seven five into hundred plus one. Thus, we are getting N is equal to. Fifteen point seven five into hundred. The decimal will be removed. One thousand five hundred seventy five. One thousand five hundred seventy five. Similarly, here also the decimal places are removed. One point seven five into hundred will become one hundred seventy five. Then plus one. Now n is equal to. We have to divide one thousand five hundred seventy five by one seventy five. We can do it as one five seven five divided by one seventy five. Nine times. It is nine plus one. The value of n is equal to ten. We obtained the value of n as ten. That means in the tenth week, her savings will be rupees twenty point seven five. The value of n is equal to ten. That is, at tenth week, tenth week, weekly savings will become. Simply savings will be rupees 
20.75 this is the conclusion so we take uh, the first term of the arithmetic progression to be first saving that is rupees 5 and the last term to the to be the annual savings rupees 20.75 and each weekly income that is rupees 1.75 to be the common difference d then take the formula for finding n is equal to an minus a1 by d plus 1 put the values and simplify we are getting n is equal to 10 that is the answer at the 10th week the savings will be rupees 10.75 okay